Hello everyone. So yeah, down early at the house today um, because we've got quite a lot going on. It's progress, progress, progress. I put the other video out yesterday, but we've moved on considerably since then um, with the plans that we've got going on. So yeah, it's, it's um, really making us feel happier. It's feeling more like home every day again. So um, yes, I want to show you where we're up to again. I'll show you the flooring, show you the painting. I'll show you a few other things going on and what we're actually going to do. We've got a few um, engineers coming today. Also, Andre, who is helping us with a lot of the stuff, is just amazing. He's doing such a great job with the plans. So yeah, it's um, yeah, it's just just happy. We are um, finally getting there, and the home is looking pretty much like it was before, if not better. All your comments are incredible. Um, I know a lot of you are enjoying seeing the video updates. So yeah, it's um, it's it's lovely to show you. It's our home. It's our lovely home. We're making it as best we can. It's actually quite um, quite a bad day today. It's um, raining quite heavy and it's quite windy outside. So it looks like it's going to be a day inside because I have actually been outside whilst it's been nice weather. There's a lot of weeds and flowers that have grown in the garden where the water it must have brought all sorts of things into the garden. So kind of everybody is doing that, but I've been pulling up the weeds rather than just trimming them. So yeah, it was trying to make the back garden look a little bit nicer ready for kind of leveling a little bit better and just landscaping and then ready for hopefully we'll have a fence go up as well so um we can kind of see our boundary and make it yeah a little bit more like our space so um yeah we're looking forward to that so let me just quickly show you where we've been up to what we've been doing again every day is changing at the moment we've got like i said some great guys working for us so let me know what you think in the comments i love reading your comments that is absolutely incredible they're just so supportive and right from the start of this um so yeah it's it's just lovely to read all the messages and on our telegram group as well so i don't know if you want to check that out all the links are in the description so come and follow us over on telegram as well i'll try and update there a little bit more as we're going through but yeah, let me just flip the camera around as I do and let me just show you where we're up to. Enjoy. So yeah, let's just start off in the hallway. So Andre has managed to skim the floor. So it's kind of got rid of all the imperfections and um, leveled it um, pretty much flat. So the quartz vinyl that is going down, which is, um, yeah, as you can see, not very um, thick, so obviously it just goes on glue. There's no underlay with this because we decided to stick it down this time um, and try and make the best watertight seal as we can. So hopefully nothing will happen again, but quartz vinyl is looking as though it will withstand, you know, like water and things like that. But yeah, we just thought it looks nice. Um, it's a little bit different to what we did have down, but it's a very, very similar color but we've managed to get it down in the living room kitchen which is great um yeah it's still a still a mess in here it's quite a quite a nice sized room this one um it's lovely space so yeah we are getting there and it was just so nice to see the flooring go down and get some furniture back in this one i did clean up it actually survived the flood so um this little sofa two-seater sofa it cleaned up well so um yeah it's um it's finally back here we did have to get a new table I, I put that together yesterday so um the table we had was yeah pretty much destroyed so we had to throw that away so yeah it's little things obviously we're not going to get a kitchen straight away we've actually got it ordered it's got to be delivered and made and all of that stuff so um, that's coming to be installed sometime towards the end of August. So if we do move back in, we're just going to have to live with the appliances kind of against there with a few little bits of shelving. I can, I can salvage fridge <laughs> is the only problem. It's, um, it's been, it's tried to be repaired like two times, but, um, it's definitely the compressor, but it's difficult to get the compressor at the moment, but that's been ordered and hopefully that is going to be done today. So at least, we have a fridge um but yeah 
it's just uh, rather than just throwing them away, it was better to get them all repaired. One of the most exciting things is we've gone for a, um, a wood burner. Um, it's not going to be used, obviously, to heat the house. It's just going to be a nice feature in the corner there. Um, that's where the tiles have gone down to put the um, what the fire half. So um, the log burner is going to sit in the middle there. Um, we did have quite a big hole drilled yesterday. It's 25 centimeters in diameter because the flue will go up and out and then up again at 45 degrees. So that is quite a hole. It was right through the house, through the block, through the brick, um, which is great. But one thing it did allow us to do was check, well, not check, to see, it allowed us to see the state of the bricks the insulation and the block inside. And um, this side of the house is the one that gets the least um, sun. Um, so it only sets round in the late evening in that corner. So it only gets, what, about an hour of sun. So this wall, this side of the house was the dampest. Um, we had de the dehumidifier running um, constantly for about a month, so it's managed to get rid of that because the brick and the block is is, is dry and the insulation is actually dry. And the, and the great thing about the insulation, I don't know if you can just see it, um, it's just through there. It hasn't dropped because the water level was just below the top of the circle that's been cut. So the water level was there. Um, so all that would have been damp, uh, including the insulation. So that hasn't dropped. And then the outside, we've drilled bricks out, um, as you've seen on my other videos. So we're happy the insulation is okay and it's dried. So um, with drilling that hole, we've managed to check at the same time, <laughs> which is great. But um, yeah, we're just looking forward to that. It was just a, a nice feature we wanted to get. Um, before the floods, um, mainly because this was one of the coldest walls. And obviously a few people have said, yeah, if, if there is still water in the walls as well, you know, the log burner will help to kind of, um, you know, dry that, especially through the winter. So like I said, it's not going to be used to heat the house. It's just an alternative source of heating. Because again, we've got underfloor heating in here, but we just don't know how it's all going to kind of... Um, work especially throughout the winter and if it does you know break or does doesn't work properly we've still got another alternative source of heating away from gas or electric or something like that so that's why we've gone for it it's not obviously going to be on constantly it's just a nice feature and an alternative source of heating as well um but yeah that will look nice so that's pretty much what's gone on here like i said all the floors have been leveled so um we're going to come right through with the same flooring into all the rooms and um, all the walls have been painted now and finished so it's looking nice and bright and clean it smells very good all the paint went on well so um that means all the walls were dried and little things i've started to put like the switches and sockets back on and um, they did clean up okay i've got a few more just to put back on and then we've got a sort the bathroom, um, a small toilet and sink. It's got to go back in there as well. And it's, yeah, it's all got to be redone. So yeah, quite a few things still to do, but yeah, we're, we're getting there. And um, yeah, we've got engineers coming today to fix the um, log burner in place and put the flue up. And um, I think they're just going to do the inside today and then the flue outside is going to be going to be done um, next week. But just let me show you kind of the quality of that because um, I know there are a few concerns saying, oh, it won't work in win in the cold winters, but it is proper insulated um, flues. Um, this, the black one, is just the, the what's going to be inside, but that's what goes through the wall and, and then outside when it joins. But that's um, all being delivered. And it's going to be hopefully installed today. So yeah, that's where we're up to. It was just nice to, again, update you. Let me know what you think in the comments. 
and I'll um, do further updates as we move forward. Because, yeah, it's just nice, all the support everybody's given given us. So, um, yeah, I just want to keep updating you. So enjoy, and I'll see you soon in the next video.